And as we're talking about Obama, let's talk about Obamacare. And this is CNBC. NBC, the network that loves Obama, is actually covering Obamacare penalties. And they're saying that they're much larger than you actually think. A new report underscores what they call a key area of uncertainty, the extent to which higher Obamacare penalties will prod uninsured people to sign up for coverage. And it says households that opt out to go without health insurance in 2016 are set to get hit with an average Obamacare fine of $969, basically a grand for being uninsured, which, I mean, to each his own. Personally, for me, if I had insurance right now, I'd be paying, you know, $200 a month for the $5,000 deductible, which is to say I'd have to pay at least uh, $5,200 uh, 5, to have somebody fix my broken leg or whatever. I could probably just pay that cash if that did happen. So for me, I, I don't like these penalties for that reason. If you have family, I understand you got kids and you don't, may not want to take that risk. But, you know, the Obamacare screwdriver, as I would call it, isn't the way to go. There are also other things out there, Samaritan Ministries, uh, I think Liberty Shield or something to those effect. I don't use those, so it's just ones I've heard about. So use those at your own discretion. Definitely look into it if it's something that you're interested in. Now, a sheriff here in Texas, as many sheriffs are here in Texas, are interested in people keeping their right to bear arms. Because it's here in Texas, it's in Milwaukee, it's in Detroit, where the police chiefs and sheriffs are saying, hey, I want you to have the means to defend yourself. And this gentleman from Hugh Spring County, Randy Kennedy, uploaded a video to Facebook defending law-abiding citizens and their ability to own firearms. What I'm asking all of my citizens to do, all my law-abiding citizens, I'm asking you to help me and our fellow law enforcement officers by arming yourselves. I want you to get a carry permit. I want you to learn how to use your weapon properly safely so that they don't fall into the hands of children. We have terrible accidents with children, but I do want you to arm yourselves. And we'll end our segment tonight with a story about why you should be able to carry a firearm. Suspect gets shot in the gut after following nightclub worker home. So basically this is a situation where a couple guys, they wanted to go to a bar, but it's a private party. So the guy said, hey, you guys have to come back tomorrow. They don't like this very much. So they decide to follow the employee home. You know, we're getting a little physical. The employee pulls out a firearm and defends themselves against the five other attackers. So that's the equalizer right there. Five on one, you pull out your firearm, you're able to defend yourself and live to see another day. Now, coming up later on in our show, we'll have a special report from John Bowen documenting this type of thing, why you should be able to have a firearm. And also Tucker Carlson with the hot topics of the day and Dr. Group explaining how you can survive the holidays without putting on a lot of weight. Stay tuned. This is the InfoWars Nightly News. Shane Steiner's involvement with InfoWarsLife.com truly happened in an organic way. I went to high school with Shane, his brother, knew his parents well. And he was visiting the office once, hadn't been to the office in years, and said, wow, I notice you're making and selling supplements. Do these really work? Because I've tried a lot of supplements as a, a workout enthusiast, and I really think most of them are hype. And I said, here, take some home, try it. Well, a few weeks later, he came in blown away and said, I want to buy three boxes of this stuff to get my friends and family. It's simply amazing. He said, why does it work so well? And I said, listen, go to InfoWarsLife.com, watch the informational videos with Dr. Group and others. They understand how it all works. I know that it works for me. That's all I understand. The science, the facts, the research, people's testimonials, they're all on InfoWarsLife.com. You can check it out for yourself. I wanted to go to the gym. I wanted to push myself and work out harder. And that led to me being able to come out and do stuff like the barefooting and the surfing and stuff like that, which one I would have never done. I, I never would have done that uh, two years ago. Shane has said over and over again, more than just libido and energy, it made him want to get into the gym more. It made him want to get in better shape. And believe me, the Steiners have amazing genetics. Uh, his brother is a world champion steer wrestler. His dad, Bobby Steiner, is a famous world champion bull rider. They've got natural genetics. But when you added this to the mix, in Shane's own words, it took him to the next level. Shane noticed the mental clarity. 
Bobby was able to work out longer and gain muscle mass. He's already completely shredded. I gotta admit, for me, the biggest effect has been libido. Now, I've never claimed to have a body like some beach model, but back when I was 20, 22 years old and worked out every day, I looked great. But over the years, and being married, and having three kids, and working 18 hours a day, I gained basically 100 pounds. And it's been a long process of losing that weight in the last four years. But if you look at the photos and the videos of what I looked like four or five years ago versus today, the results results are dramatic. I'd already cleaned up my diet, I was working out hard, but I'd only lost about 20 pounds. It was adding the other key ingredients from InfoWarsLife.com that helped me personally go to the next level and shed another 35 pounds. This has actually made me feel so good that uh, here lately, about a year ago, I started training jujitsu, and that kind of led to doing some boxing and kickboxing. I mean, it's, it's amazing that two years ago, I was on the couch and couldn't even tie my shoes, and now I'm training with MMA fighters and uh, just doing stuff that I never thought that I'd, I would be doing ever again. So Super Male Vitality has allowed me to do some amazing things, and if it has those kind of effects for me, I know that it will do great things for you. So just try Super Male Vitality. I promise you, you'll love it. And finally, let's look at Anthony Gucciardi, InfoWars.com reporter. He also works with Dr. Group and others helping develop the newest, most cutting edge, high quality supplements. Let's take a look at what happened when he tried to barefoot ski for the first time with the Steiners. And remember, we're not making fun of him. He had the will to get in the arena and he's lost more than 10 pounds in the last few years of fat and gained more than 10 pounds of muscle. And Anthony chalks it up to super male vitality as well. Bottom line, folks, you want to discover the power of super male vitality and super female vitality for yourself by visiting InfoWarsLife.com today or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. We're going to get into a lot of news throughout this hour and also take your calls on health questions. I'm going to pose a question to you. You know, Time Magazine named Angela Merkel, Chancellor Angela Merkel, as person of the year. I'm going to question you on who you would name, and I'm going to tell you who I would name and who Alex would name and Dr. Group as well. But we're going to talk about a lot of stuff. And the good news is uh, there's actually no such thing, by the way, as Internet censorship in China, according to China. Uh, China's top censor actually just released a statement. The uh, senior Chinese official known as the gatekeeper of the country's Internet has denied that the country censors online information. Liu Wei, Chief of State Internet Information Office, said China does not censor but manages Internet content. So I have good news for you. There's no such thing as Internet censorship in the United States either or in the world, just anywhere at all. It's only managed. So when you go to post something online, it's blocked or it's taken down on YouTube or Facebook or whatever. That's actually not censorship. Good news, guys. That's just managed content. The government manages it to keep you safe. So that's some uplifting news. But no, seriously, we're going to get into some other news about petition to ban Trump from the UK passes 250K signatures. Could he be actually banned in the United Kingdom? I wonder if that would still hold if he's president. That would be interesting. Google says it has proved its controversial quantum computer really works and it could do math better than a conventional computer. Anonymous couple drops $500,000 into a Salvation Army kettle outside of a small restaurant. We're going to talk about how Putin... We uh, spoke about this a little bit earlier, but we're going to expand on how he's going to become a non-GMO dominant exporter. And in Kazakhstan, the Internet backdoors you. They want to install some type of a, a chip or software, I'll have to read into it, and where it tracks everything on your personal devices. This is kind of like a beta test of what some people want to do in the United States, where every single thing you do on your personal device, whether it's a cell phone or a computer or a lap, you know, iPad or whatever, it all goes through the government cloud and it tracks everything you look up, everything you are interested in, everything you like, everything you do. It just tracks you 100% completely. We also have some uplifting news. But Dr. Group is going to talk to us about some really, really important health information on detoxing, on avoiding the average of five pounds that we all gain during the holidays, right? And uh, some of the reasons that we're secretly, you know, unknowingly, packing on the weight, feeling like crap over the holidays when we can actually do about it.
So tell yeah, us about that. Now, you know, coming, knowing I was going to be on the show today, I was like, what can I do for people? The holidays are coming up. You know, sometimes I come on the show, we promote the products, which are great, but I really want to give back to everybody and just say, put together a lot of facts and put together some tips that everybody can learn about the holidays and what they can do to be healthy during the holidays, how they can replace some of the toxic foods with some natural foods, how they can reduce their stress levels over the holidays, because I know they're probably going to have parents and you know mother-in-laws and everything coming in so it's not only having a non-toxic holiday season but it's also you know how do you deal with all this stuff that's going on and so i put together uh, some things that i'd like to share with everybody a few years ago consumers Re consumer reports did a survey on what americans dread the most about the holidays they dread the most going in debt dealing with crowds and gaining weight and according to the National Cancer of Health Statistics, over 30% of American adults are overweight and another 30% are obese. So in other words, they dread the very thing they are just as much as going into debt. That's, that's pretty hardcore. Gaining five pounds is just as bad as going into debt. Right. The New England Journal of Medicine says the average person gains at least one pound each year between Thanksgiving and New Year's and usually up to five pounds. I know everybody's interested in uh, not being able to gain those that weight. And when you look at the Thanksgiving, the Christmas holidays, really it starts around Halloween when you get all the candy and you start slowing down because wintertime starts coming in. And it's fun though too. Like I definitely don't think what we're saying is, oh, you can't enjoy yourself. You can't have these things. Instead, it's just these little secret kind of attacks, these incognito health threats that we don't realize that are in all of this stuff that we can easily get rid of and you can still enjoy yourself still have fun which i'm all about you know enjoying yourself in the holidays but not destroying your body not gaining five to ten pounds and saying oh god why did i do that it's not actually that hard yeah because come january when you have your new year's resolution you'd be like wow i actually lost two pounds over the holidays right so what i looked at was you know what are the most common toxic substances that people are going to be exposed to over the holidays number one is beverages and that's going to be your uh, coffee mixes, your eggnog, your al different alcoholic drinks, different types of cocktails, soda, eggnog, for example. Now, personally, I don't drink eggnog. I used to as a kid. I liked it. And sometimes I'll buy like the coconut eggnog for the kids or whatever. But I was amazed to find out that traditional eggnog is basically cream, sugar, white sugar, and eggs. And one 16-ounce serving of eggnog contains 500 to 800 calories and 40 grams of fat. One 16-ounce serving. That's without any alcohol added. And that's the equivalent of you eating four glazed donuts. And I don't know about you guys, but I picture everyone drinking about five of those 16-ounce glasses of eggnog. Everyone just chugs it all day. With brandy. And Wake it, up well, in the morning. <laughs> Let's have some uh, eggnog, you know, and yeah, put a little brandy in there and just drink it throughout the day is pretty much it. The, the football games glaze. are coming on, the food's starting to come out, you're starting to get your eggnog, you're, you're, you're adding the brandy in there. Yeah, it's pretty bad. So I'll tell you, a natural replacement for eggnog is if you go to your natural or organic food store and you can get, it's still high in sugar, but it's still going to be better for you. Coconut eggnog, almond milk eggnog, they make it in like a chocolate mint and they make it in and different flavors, or better than that, just don't even drink the eggnog and just utilize water, which is another thing that people get dehydrated over the holiday season with all the alcohol and all these sugary drinks that dehydrate you. So one of my recommendations too over the holidays, just make a conscious effort to try to drink more water. You know, just get one of the glass water containers and fill it up and just tell yourself you're going to drink two or three of those a day. The next thing I have on the list is the sugary drinks and sugar in general. Um, for example, a 16 ounce peppermint white chocolate mocha from Starbucks contains syrups, whipped cream and chocolate that adds uh, up to 500 calories and 76 grams of sugar. If you just get rid of the drinks that you're having on a daily basis and replace it with water or just something that's not complete junk, you'll realize that is about, I'd say 70% of people don't realize all of the 
toxic matter they're taking in and the extra calories and they're getting fat is because of the drinks. Yeah, because I was I was looking at all these things and I was just amazed because I know, I mean, I have family members and I have people in my office, unfortunately, that, you know, 